Hi, this is Joe Bull, and welcome back to our beginning of our series, VisualBasic.net. Well, you probably already installed the software by now and fired it up. So let's take a look at some of the things we need to do to get our environment right for our programming. So let me go switch over to Visual Studio 2013, and if you have an older version, that's okay too. I've got 2013 up and showing at this point, and this is the start page that greets us when we get started. Now we can close out the start page anytime we want and we can always bring it back up through our menu bar when we go to view and you'll see one of the options to show the start page. So you can come up and hit on the start page if you need to bring it back. Also from the start page we can go to a new project or open an older project that we already have out on the system and we'll see a list of recent ones as well as we develop more of our code and save it. So let's take a look at one of the things we need to do first and that is to go up to the menu bar to tools and we're going to come down on tools to the option called options. So we're going to go tools options and once we are there now you'll have all the different settings to get Visual Studio right for your programming. Now, if you have an older version of Visual Studio, you may have a little box down here to click that allows you to see more options. So click on that so you can see all the options available to us, and we'll get things set. Some of them may not be available in the older versions, but most of them are. First of all, we want to look at the general setting. We're at the environment level. Look at the general, and in this case, I have the color blue that I picked when I installed the software and set the developmental settings. So you can change your theme on that from dark to light, but I like blue. And then the next thing uh, we want to look at is down here under startup, under the environment. One of the things we can do is download from Microsoft and other sites that are associated with Visual Basic uh, information to help us update and be aware of things going on out on the internet. And so it's sort of nice to turn this on, but if you're working with a laptop, you may not want it because you might not be available at, with the internet access and it might slow things down. For me, in my environment, since I'm working with a desktop in a wired condition, I'm going to hit download every 60 minutes. So those are the environment, general, and setup settings. Then we're going to scroll on down to projects and settings, projects and solutions, you should say. And I'm going to hit the carrot to expand that. And you'll see under project and solutions is the general settings. And one of the things that uh, are, is very good to have turned on is track active item in Solution Explorer. We'll learn more about that, but we'll actually see our Solution Explorer panel window. Uh, keep track of where we're at currently with an active tab. Also, uh, always sl show solution is another one that I like set and recommend that you set as well. So in the general settings under projects and solutions, we have changed this by tracking active items in a solution explorer and also always show solution. Then coming down to the visual basic defaults, Let's take a note of this one because this is one we'll come back to and change. But the initial defaults are explicit on, strict off, compare, binary, and infer on. Later on, we're going to turn on option strict. But right now, we're going to leave it off. Uh, and as we get into the developing of our programs, we'll learn why uh, we'll want to turn this on. So make certain that this is set. Uh, to those settings to get started with. And then we also want to take a look at the text editor itself. So I'm going to scroll down and go to the text editor, click on it, and go to basic and click on it. Click on the general tab there. One of the things we want to do is turn on line numbers for our visual basic text editor on that so that when we have an error God forbid that we have one, but if we did, our environment would tell us what line number that error occurs. And by having this turned on, we can go and see which line to go to. So we want to turn on line numbers. 
also. We want to look at tabs. Uh, four uh, uh, character spaces is the default, and I highly recommend you keep it at four. Uh, it makes it easier visually to see on that. So we've changed the general setting for basic text editor, turning on the line numbers, and also turning the tabs, or setting the tabs to uh, four for the size and for the indent size. So that gets our environment set. We want to say OK at this point, and we're ready to begin our process on that. So remember, anytime there, in fact, came in on my page is the announcements uh, by sending that startup page. Uh, therefore, anytime you need to, you can go out there and change your options. And in fact, you can save those options if you like, so that if certain settings get changed and you want to get it back, you can re-import that back in uh, to your environment. So remember to set your options on that. I came up to the uh, tools on the menu bar, came down to options, made a change to the environment, general settings, made certain I had my theme that I wanted. I came down to my startup of the environment, turned on so I get the download of the information and announcements, and also uh, I came to the text editor, I went to the general settings, turned on line numbers, and made certain my tabs were uh, set at four, and then I also uh, got everything just right, and I was happy, and I said okay. So come back next time, and we'll take a look at more on this, but until then, get your hands dirty in the code. See you next time.